Apparently, the dude who started Netflix did so because he got a $40 late fee from Blockbuster and was pissed. Wow, pettiness is the greatest motivation in the world. Yeah, well, in 1888, Almon Brown Stronger, an undertaker, noticed he was losing a lot of business to the other undertaker in his town. He found out that the other undertaker's wife was a telephone operator. When she intercepted people asking to be connected to Stronger's funeral home, the operator would route the call to her husband's funeral home instead. Three years later, Stronger patented the automatic telephone exchange, a system which allowed telephone users to make calls without the need for human operators. He destroyed a whole workforce. I wouldn't even class that as petty, really. Like, he had to do that, otherwise his business would have gone down. But then again, he did destroy an entire workforce. Maybe it is petty. Hey everyone, my name is Jake and welcome to Mad Lads, where we're gonna practice social distancing by standing over here. Mad Lads, leave a like. Hey, police, can you get in trouble for driving over the white line all the way at a red light? The police? Hi Luke, it's an offence for any part of your vehicle to pass the white stop line if a traffic light is turned red. Thanks. No worries, that's what I figured. <laughs> I bet they kept that one quiet as well, just no response, just no response at all. Jelly is not allowed to sit on the Wi-Fi router. A week ago, she knocked over the anti-Jelly router blockade and made it her bed again. <laughs> that is an evil cat right there, look at those eyes. Today, I made a Zoom background of myself accidentally walking in on myself in a Zoom meeting. <laughs> oh, this is a video, look, I'll play it. So we've just got to come up with these new ideas and new ways for us to really make it work. So I'm working with a few people where we're exploring things like, um, uh... <laughs> it's just, imagine not noticing that though. They're like, oh, do you have a twin? <laughs> Ask Reddit, what are you supposed to do when having happy birthday sung to you? You just pick one person to unflinchingly stare at and whisper the song back on a one second delay. <laughs> that person's gonna be so confused. It's like your second cousin that's only met you twice. They're like, uh, uh, can you not please? I made the mistake of telling my husband an early symptom of COVID is loss of smell. He's taken to passing gas in my vicinity, and then when I react, informing me he is helpfully performing a health check. He taught the children the technique. I may divorce him. You better not divorce him, you're gonna struggle to find another mad lad like that. No matter what you call it, one thing that unites us all is the X button. Happy National Video Games Day at PlayStation, at Nintendo, and everyone. We've got a Nintendo, a PlayStation controller, an Xbox One, the letter X on your keyboard, <laughs> and the mobile game ad X. <laughs> that mobile game ad, the burn, I'm crying. No, but I've got to agree with Xbox there. If I see that ad, I'm, I'm clicking it. I'm clicking that X right there. It's getting clicked, no matter what. No one wants to see these ads. Why do you even show them? I guess they might work because they keep showing them. Stop clicking these ads. <laughs> Keefy tweeted out, Mrs. just checked my phone and turns out that house party app has act my DMs and asked some random lass to come round to mine. So just everyone deletes it. At house party, um, the rumours about house party circulating in the UK are disheartening, but in this case we may can take one for the team and write you an excuse letter for the missus. <laughs> uh, she bought it lads, don't worry, but I do appreciate the offer, cheers. <laughs> I don't know what this house party app is, I've seen a lot about it, it's like getting hacked and stuff, but they are good people for looking out for Keithy. <laughs> this anti-racism mad lad. Oh look, I've got an Xbox controller. Uh, this website is for whites only. Oh, uh, you got it man, <laughs> here's a white one. <laughs> Try to reflect on the good times before the quarantine, like when this legend ate a rotisserie chicken on his car while stuck in traffic. <laughs> hey, you gotta do what you gotta do, man. Childish Gambino and Drake. Uh, my Uncle Ray and Aunt Lisa, who cares? <laughs> no, they're not wrong, they're not wrong. If we're in a relationship, your clothes are my clothes too. Don't ask me why I have your shirt on, this is our shirt. Okay, but when I come strutting in with your leggings on, I don't want to hear anything, okay? I can rock them if you want to rock my shirt. <laughs> my neighbor said my dog was scary and needs a muzzle. Well, not a problem, buddy. <laughs> yeah, now you're even more scared. Good job. This comment on a music video. Wow, this song makes me want to break into someone's house, toast all their bread, and leave. <laughs> rock on, guys, rock on. 
OJ Simpson tweets out, I did it. April Fools. <laughs> Is it really though, OJ? Is it really an April Fools? So, churches are not essential, but abortion clinics are essential? Got it. Yes, because abortion is healthcare. Glad I could clear that up for you, Liz. 600,000 babies a year would disagree with you. Um, I could easily win a debate against 600,000 babies. You know what? I could win a debate against a billion babies. You know why? Because babies are stupid. They don't know anything. <laughs> you get three wishes. One selfish, one selfless, and one meaningless. What are they? Okay, I want unlimited cheeseburgers for the rest of my life. I want everyone in the world to get a free cheeseburger on Tuesdays. And I want all burger buns to have 17 more sesame seeds. <laughs> huh. Yeah, I guess that fits all of the things. Yeah, <laughs> sure. Tell me why my cat is in my rabbit's cage. Uh, probably looking for food. <laughs> yeah, well, that's the unfortunate truth really, isn't it? You have $400, your ex really needs $100, your girl also needs $200, how much do you have? Uh, $400 and unread messages? <laughs> I like this guy, I like this guy a lot. <laughs> Would anyone give the $100 to their ex? Like, why is the ex even in the question? They're, they're your ex for a reason, you know? Like, you don't want to give them $100. <laughs> Teddy to Colorado Springs Yard Sale Group. Beat me up to impress your girl. Does the woman in your life think you're a little bitch? Prove her wrong by punching me in the face. I'll come by wherever you are and hit on her. That's when you give me the old Marty McFly and lay me out right in front of her. Half up front, other half due, after we cause an inevitable scene. <laughs> He even looks like the perfect part for this, like, you want to punch this guy even if he didn't provide the service. And he's providing a service which just makes him such a mad lad. People who tell me I shouldn't drink lava? The media. People who lie? The media. Conclusion? I am going to drink lava. <laughs> wait, 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 before we hate on this guy, he might have a point. Has anyone here tried lava? No? How do you know it's not a really nice drink? It could be like the Fanta Coke Sprite mix all into one and very high temperature that will destroy your insides and probably destroy your hand. Yeah, you'd probably die. Don't drink lava, guys. <laughs> Haha, <laughs> sorry boys. It turns out women are actually better drivers than men. Does she know she's in the back seat in the photo? <laughs> yeah, that's why she's such a good driver. She's in the back seat with her eyes closed, one hand out the window, and she's still driving perfectly. I can't hate that. When I was in eighth grade, a friend of mine and I were messing around during our study period, and he accidentally stabbed me in the arm with a pencil. And the pencil was partially stuck in my arm, but I was really shy in social situations, so I just raised my hand and waited for the teacher to notice, which took about five minutes. So when he finally asked me what I needed, I said, Um, TJ accidentally stabbed me with a pencil a few minutes ago, and now it's hanging out of my arm. Can I go see the nurse? He freaked out and yelled, Oh my god, Sebastian, why didn't you tell me right away? And I said right back, Please don't yell at me, I have a pencil in my arm. If anyone is yelling, it should be me. And that sums up my attitude and personality fairly well, to be honest. <laughs> I think we'd get along pretty well, the apathetic approach to that is very nice. <laughs> At Peter, if you respond, I'm buying a hundred cows and I'm gonna boil them alive. Hashtag donate. At Peter, thanks for your support. Complete your donation now. <laughs> they just quickly replied to that. Wait, no, I, we didn't mean to. <laughs> Neighbor caught escaping coronavirus lockdown by dressing as a bush. <laughs> Very smart. Yeah, you're gonna get away with that. No one's gonna know. <laughs> Day one of tweeting until Ryan Reynolds answers. Ryan Reynolds, nailed it on minute one. Congratulations and wash your hands. Update, I'm crying. <laughs> oh, Ryan Reynolds is way better than me. You guys are like day 50, day 42. You're all down there. I'm waiting. Don't worry, I'll get it on the right day. When you tell a joke, but someone says it louder and everyone laughs. When you tell a joke, but someone says it louder and everyone laughs. <laughs> that was a pretty good joke from Brayden. I like that. Ah, uh, I wish I could fit both of my favorite games into my header. Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 and Animal Crossing. Guys, I did it. His header? <laughs> oh, oh no. Remember guys, no Russian.
You know who the true mad lad is though? You, for clicking one of these videos, right here. They're really good, I hope. <laughs> I really hope they are good, right? You tell me actually, click one and tell me. Comment, click one.